So as we said, there is a brand new system here for artifacts. And I want to make sure you guys do not mess up on this. So please, before you do anything in this event, listen to what we're about to say. Hopefully you haven't done anything just yet. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's jump in and talk about these deific artifacts. So with this ivory flame event, you'll see some of the rewards and actually four of them in total give you new types of artifact selection chests. They are called origin artifact selection chests and they consist of three orange artifacts. The exotic pistol, which is used with offensive artifacts. The exotic shield, which is work with the defensive ones. And the exotic grimoire, which is kind of those specialty ones. You know, things like Rui Scepter um the weird ones let's be honest it's very very interesting so essentially across this event you can get four of these if you do the entire event awakenings included get the relay and spend like an additional 50 dollars. now this unlocks a brand new tier of artifacts the easiest way to look at them if you just want to see what they are you can go to artifacts and you can see all the shininess of them like technically you can actually have like all these things upgraded too which is kind of weird um but yeah like it, it is weird that these actually do something you don't really want to make these into splendid in reality uh like this one says after the hero releases active base skills grant self one of the following effects it's like a random effect you don't want to do this what you want to do is you want to make these but you can't bring them straight to splendid right away and you'll notice there's one for every single artifact if you come over to the blacksmith you go to the mysterious deification workshop there's an interface here that has offensive defense and functional uh artifacts essentially that you can create now just so you know you need to take one of those origin artifacts that we just showed you the like the scope the shield or the grimoire add it to a regular orange mysterious artifact the paid one artifacts uh, and certain number of glorious relics, which you can see you have to spend 100 glorious relics to do this as well. And that will give you the deific mysterious artifact. You can only put orange artifacts into this system right here. So please be aware. For example, uh, you can throw in different artifacts and then you can add the different pieces in and then it'll give you a different result. And you can see all the results right here. Please note from the looks of it, once you do this, you are locked in on this artifact. Once you combine these two orange artifacts, there is no system from the looks of it to regress the new artifact you created at one star orange. So before you do anything, please make sure you do your research, figure out what you're going to do. We'll give you some recommendations here today as far as the safe ones are, because again, there's defensive ones. There's the functional ones that are like energy feed and stuff offensive ones a ton of different things so please remember they turn into this so getting one of those chests in this event plus one orange artifact gets you one of the new deific mysterious artifacts now you can still take them as splendid because if you do come over to the Ormus workshop you can see they're all listed here you can take them up to glittery you can take them up to radiant and you can take them all the way up to splendid technically you can make one splendid artifact in this event for the new one so just again keep that in mind uh so there are some safe bets here let's go over them really quickly there's a few of these that we are going to have to test uh such as the breath of the forest spirit which is essentially the upgraded antlers cane you get a ton of raw stats however it's interesting we need to test this and i know people are already going to do this because once you build this you're pretty much locked into it you can't change once you go for this artifact you can of course regress it and get the resources back but you're not going to get your original artifacts back so this states at the end of each round increases all damage up by nine percent that's normal but then it says and all damage reduction for 10 rounds i'm hoping the way this reads is it's only the damage reduction that's for 10 rounds because if it's the all damage dealt that's actually worse than splendid antlers splendid antlers goes 15 rounds that's the whole point of why it's good if this stops at 10 it's not great and then it adds a heal of it as well so interesting uh punisher doesn't seem like it got anything special or good to make it very useful same with kiss of ghosts is basically a balanced strike on a kiss of ghost on crack it's really really amazing 
uh, but it's not really useful because you're super squishy. And then there's melodic strings upgrades, which does have a benefit. You're getting 100 energy. You're additionally getting speed on top of that. You're still getting the 50% all damage dealt that tears down. However, you're also getting 50% bonus attack decreasing 10% each round. The unique thing about this is at round four, this resets back up to 50% of attack and 50% all damage dealt. So you have a second chance to really burst down the enemies at the beginning of round four, and then it does go down again and stays down. So this one sounds like a safe bet if you guys want to do it. And again, we will be testing every single one of these. Next up are the defensive ones. The Magic Stone Sword sounds promising. The verbiage is written backwards, but almost the same as the original Magic Stone Sword. And if you guys didn't know, the original Magic Stone Sword, that's at Splendid. If you take more than 100% of your HP bar, the damage reduction effect does nothing. However, the nice bonus is this does have more damage reduction and control immunity built into it. It also has HP. Uh, and the bonus here is that when taking damage for every 20% that you lose, you increase your attack and grant a shield equal to 12 percent so kind of cool especially on a hero that could heal maybe it's good maybe it's not the next one is augustus magic ball is now augustus's groan okay so it does get some native damage reduction built into it and it says reduces the damage received by 250 percent that's the same but it also says when being attacked additionally reduces damage received by 50 percent here's attack so that makes it sound like it's just upping it to 300 percent i don't know how good that actually is uh also when you are getting attacked you increase your all damage dealt by five percent for three rounds so that could be like 30 percent around for a couple rounds that could add up there is potential here we need to see how much damage reduction it's actually doing uh torch kind of the same thing except it does give some healing ability to it as well which is interesting crown is probably the best artifact that we notice right away you're also getting some crit damage reduction and it's basically the same you're getting the 50 percent all damage reduction however you're also getting 50% regular damage reduction at the same time. And, and this resets at round six. So at round six, you're back to having 50% additional all damage dealt or all damage reduction and 50% damage reduction. Sounds strong. Fan is an interesting one. It has the same exact, uh, same thing, except it says if you have a shield and you're under a basic or take damage from an active seal, you have a chance to, or you basically get 20 energy and restore HP. That could be really good on a hero like Vulcan or something, or a solo carry hero. We'll have to see how that turns out. And this one's interesting. Auspicious Lucky Cat got a third ability attached to it beyond Fortune and Prosperity. It has Felicity, and Felicity basically says grants one random ally one of these effects, speed, attack, or heal, or energy. It could be good. could be crappy. I don't know. We'll have to see. Not quite sure if I like any of those. But again, Crown seems to be the safe bet. Same with Melodic Strings. Then we go to the functional ones, which are a little more unique. Demon Bell still does Demon Bell things. You get some additional speed to it. And then on top of that, after all that stuff, uh, you can increase the speed by 9% of allies that have full energy. And then for every energy exceeding 100%, they actually heal for half of a percent of their max HP. So that's interesting. Adds healing into it if you need it for energy feed. Uh, kind of the same thing down here. You get some all damage dealt bonus with the candy bar. Doesn't seem all that great. Rui Scepter sounds interesting for RNG. You're getting some damage reduction built into it beyond more control precision. You're still getting that control immunity offset, but you're also getting at the beginning of each battle, the hero has a 50% chance to just gain 100 energy. That could be really good. It could be used on Betty, and you can just RNG into the right setup. Um, because this might actually immediately proc her ability at the beginning of battle. Holy cow, I just realized. If you have this on Betty, and this goes off, this might trigger her 100 energy ability, which then would trigger her core. Holy cow, this could actually trigger before the enemy even gets to do anything. That is going to have to be tested. Uh, after that, there's also the Will of Winter, which, you know, additionally reduces the energy and attack with snow. Eh, it's, it's whatever. And, of course, we have Mirror 2. Uh, basically, just, like, adds more effects, has a chance to double the effect for anybody who also has an elusive mirror. Uh, it's interesting, but, again, I think the biggest takeaway here is once you make this, there is no disassemble function. You, of course, can still disassemble the Ormus version, but you can't disassemble the 
orange version here. So please, please be safe. We will have a lot of testing coming up this week on these. If you do build one of these, please let me know. The ones we really, really want to test out, of course, are melodic strings. I'm going to personally test out Magic Stone Sword. We want to test out Augustus Grown. And now, honestly, Rui Scepter sounds pretty crazy. Dragon Rui could be busted broken on Betty. We'll have to see. Because, of course, the one downside of Betty is sometimes the enemies just don't hit her. And then you, did, you just die. So, yeah, interesting. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. The new system is here. Don't make any bad mistakes. Let us do mistakes first. See you guys next time.